The BC Lions are short home favorites over the Winnipeg Blue Bombers on Sunday as Nathan Rourke is expected to make his 2024 CFL debut under center. The Lions signed the former most outstanding Canadian to a lucrative three-year deal following his two-year excursion to the NFL and... The last time we saw him up here and healthy, JC, he was tearing opposing defenses to shreds. The Blue Bombers are also expected to get a big name back in the lineup as Kenny Lawler is set to make his return from a fractured arm. JC, with the season series between these two rivals on the line, which team is going to come out on top? It's going to be the BC Lions, and it's because they have signed Nathan Rourke. I know we should temper expectations for a guy that's coming back on less than a week of practice with what what is essentially a new team. I mean, as much as we want to talk about the offense being the same and it's the same coaches, that receiving core is wildly different. Keon Hatcher was really the only guy who was a stud when Rourke was also under center. Alexander Hollins was just sort of breaking into the league in that fifth receiver role. Everyone else essentially in that starting unit for BC is new since Rourke departed. So maybe there are some chemistry issues. Maybe it takes a while for him to readjust to the Canadian game. But the gap between what we saw last week with Jake Dolagala under center, where he couldn't hit anything deep. He couldn't make any explosive plays where he was standing in there like a big, tall statue. And Nathan Rourke and what he is able to do with getting the ball out of his hand quickly, with making explosive plays down the field, with using his feet and his legs, I think he's going to be highly motivated. I think he's going to be fired up. And I think the team around him is going to be electrified as a result as well. The Bombers are starting to turn the corner. Kenny Lawler being back helps them, but they haven't shown me anything in their passing game thus far with Zach Kolaris this season that could defeat what I expect that we will see from Nathan Rourke, particularly in front of a home crowd that is going to be upwards of 30,000 and electric with the return of their golden boy native son. So I'm taking the Lions here. Regardless of what the points would be, they would be my pick. I am happy to ride with BC. I am bullish on the Bombers during the second half of the season. Taiwan Garbutt has been a very nice find for them at defensive end. They're getting Celeste and Haba back from injury. They've suddenly got a rotation, including Willie Jefferson, who I think has put together some really nice games lately. I'm also extremely bullish on Kenny Lawler. I think Kenny Lawler is the best receiver in the CFL. When healthy, his catch radius is unlike any other target we see north of the border. That being said, I'm on the Lions here. I have to be. And I do expect Nathan Rourke to show some signs of rust. You can't just pop in on Wednesday and be a stud on Sunday. I don't think that's possible. That being said, I think you hit the nail on the head, JC, when you talked about the lift that this team is going to get with Nathan Rourke under center. This team is galvanized. This team is enthralled. It is excited. And how could you not be, right? Mm -hmm. The last time Nathan Rourke was on the field, he made a very mediocre offensive line look brilliant. He made average receivers look incredible. BC's offensive line is actually probably worse now than it was two years ago. But the receivers are much better, right? Justin McInnes has been unbelievable. Alexander Hollins has been great. Keon Hatcher is knocking off the rust, but we know that he is a top five receiver in this league. Jordan Maximic's offense put up a grand total of zero points and four first downs the last time it played Winnipeg two weeks ago. I expect it to be a different story in front of a raucous crowd, and I don't think that the impact of this game can be understated. The winner gets the season series. If you're the Lions, if you win it, you pretty much have buried Winnipeg's chances of finishing first in the West. If you're Winnipeg and you win it, you're now two points back with the season series. It's game on. If you have plans on Sunday night, folks, cancel it. Stay home. Watch this game. It should be a great one. Arguably the game of the season so far, especially when you add in a player like Nathan Work and a weapon like Kenny Lawler. Watch it. Enjoy it. And enjoy the rest of Week 11, folks. Thank you, as always, for joining us. For our picks here at 3 Down Nation, for J.C. Abbott, I'm John Hodge. We'll see you next time.